My name is Sandra, and I'm 48 years old. My husband Eugene passed away the other day. We were just saying, let's celebrate our 10th anniversary next year. When we got married, my husband had an 11 year old daughter from his former marriage named Layla. She was upset that her father was taken away from her, probably because a girl her age is very sensitive. She always showed a rebellious attitude towards me. Never did she open up to me. My husband was very upset with that kind of situation. He had a talk with Layla many times about it, but it was useless. Because I was a relatively good age, I was spending my time not worrying about it too much. However, I was vaguely thinking if we can live together from now on since my husband had passed away. I have to talk to you about something. Talk? What is it? It's about our future. Oh, then why don't you come down to the living room? I'll prepare something to drink. No thanks, I don't want to talk to you directly. What? You may have married my dad and you may be his wife, but it's not as if you became my mother. You may have thought so, but I haven't accepted you. So, now that dad's gone, I don't want to be talking to a stranger. Is that so? You may be right that we are not blood related, but we have been living together for almost 10 years now. Isn't stranger a little too harsh? You are a stranger, aren't you? Can you stop acting like my mother? I don't mean to, but the two of us are going to be living together, you know. You could at least get a little bit closer to me, don't you think? About that, living together with a stranger is impossible. What do you mean impossible? Do you intend on moving out? Huh? Why do I have to move out? There are so many memories between dad and mom. You're the stranger, so you're the one who should move out. Up to now, I was dealing with it because you're his second wife. He's gone now. It's common sense, isn't it? Move out right this minute. Wait, wait a minute. What are you saying all of a sudden? It's not sudden. I want to kick you out from a long time ago. I was against the marriage even since I found out that you were going to get married to dad. But he decided to marry you from his own will. I couldn't forgive you for replacing mom. You two are the ones who kicked mom now. You look as if you can't even kill a bug and you do this. You're the worst. Wait, we never kicked your mother out. I don't want to hear any excuses. I hate you. There is no way that I can live with a stranger that I despise. So get out of this house. Don't come around ever again. Apparently, Layla didn't know the real reason why her mother had left. It's not as if he had kicked her out. It was because she had found someone else and decided to leave. And I was the one who had been by his side when Eugene was deeply hurt. I was his friend from a long time ago. I know that you hate me, but I have the same feelings for Eugene as you do. So please let me stay in this house which has Eugene's smell that I can remember him by. No, this house, dad, and his inheritance all belong to me. Anyway, just get out of here. But if I move out, you're going to be living in this house all by yourself. Can you live by yourself in this big house? Huh? Are you making fun of me? I'm a university student. Of course I can do something as easy as that. It's not as if I'm making fun of you, but you've never really done any housework before. You've never even cooked because you didn't want to be near me. Do you know how much the daily expenses are? The house is this big. I can't imagine you taking care of everything on your own. Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! I told you not to act like my mother. You say that you're an adult, but you're a student. I'm also worried about money. It's not as if Eugene's inheritance will last forever. A stranger has no right to say that to me. I can handle the money on my own. But stop talking and hurry up. Pack your things. Alright, but I won't be able to move up right away even if you say so. I have things to pack for myself. I have to clean up after Eugene too. Of course you can't do that. I can bear to think of having dad's things stolen saying that you'll clean out his things or something. You're going to make a lot of excuses so that you can stay here, aren't you? Of course I'm not going to let you do that. You don't believe me at all, do you? Alright, I'll take what I need for now and get out. I'll try not to contact you anymore, but I'll have to ask you to help me out if I need something in the future. I refuse. Whatever you can't bring, give it up. If you're going to say that much, then fine. Well, I have quite a lot of luggage myself. If I can't come back and pick them up later, I want sufficient time to pack. Give me three days. Alright. But Layla, don't blame me if you regret kicking me out. Regret? Of course I wouldn't. I'll be relieved. And here I was, packing 9 years worth of my belongings. I couldn't spare any time to sleep. After 3 days had gone by, somehow I was able to finish packing. Layla, I finally finished moving all my luggage out. Thanks for everything, take care. Don't contact me every time for such a small thing like that. Sorry, I just wanted to let you know. I won't contact you again. Oh yeah, there's one thing, it's about the rent. Huh? Rent? What are you talking about? What do you mean? It's about the rent to that house. I'm sure things are tough for you this month, so I'll make an exception. But you're going to have to pay the rent starting next month. 
I didn't need you to pay all this time since I was living with you, but from now on, you're going to start living on your own, right? Huh? I have no idea what you're talking about. Why do I have to pay you rent? What do you mean why? That house is mine, so it's common sense, don't you think? Don't be absurd. I have been living in this house ever since I was born, before you even came. My grandpa who passed away bought this house in the first place. Don't be joking. It may have been true in the beginning, but it's not now. What do you mean? Five years ago, your grandmother Claudia had failed in investing and she had an extreme amount of debt. She had to put mortgage on this house. If this were to continue, the whole family would have had no place to live. That's why I paid off the debt by buying out the house. Huh? There's no way that you could have done that. You're nothing but a housewife. You wouldn't have that kind of money. Me? Just a housewife? Aren't you? You were always home all day. That may be true, but I'm not just a housewife. I have been owning a lot of property since the time of my grandfather. I have a number of apartments and tenant buildings. Thanks to that, I get a good amount of income even while staying home. I've never even heard of that before. You never even had any interest in me anyway, so I never told you. Oh, is that so? And that house is one of the houses that I own. So this explains why I want you to pay $1,800 starting next month. Huh? $1,800 per month? Of course I can't pay that much. Why not? Didn't you say that you can handle the money on your own? And I'm giving you a special offer you know. Well, I never thought I had to pay rent. Huh? Did you really think that you would get by thinking so unrealistically? No, it's not that, but I never thought about the rent. Rent? What? Don't tell me. Did you think that I, the stranger, would pay for rent? Oh, of course I wouldn't think that, but to have to pay 1800 is... If you say that you can't pay rent every month, then you can only buy out the house from me. Do you want me to calculate the amount for you? Of course I can't do that. Then you'll have to pay 1800 a month. Well, we did live together for close to 10 years, so as a special offer, I'll give you up to 6 months for overdue rent. However, if you fall behind on the rent for more than that period, I'll have to evict you. Anyway, you've already told me that you didn't want to see me anymore, so I'll send you the paperwork on the lease later. Bye! What? Wait! One month later. Sandra, it's been a long time. Oh, it really has been a while. I thought you didn't even know my name. Can I please talk to you now? What is it? What do you want? Um, it's been a month since you left. I don't know how to say this, but I thought it's about time. What are you talking about? It's about time for what? It's about time you came back, don't you think? You're the one who kicked me out, you know. Yeah, but I don't know how to say this. For the first time, I realized how much you mean to me after you had left. Why don't you be honest? Uh, you can't do anything without me. You have to clean the house, do the laundry, and cook. You have to do everything by yourself. You also have the monthly rent to pay. Even though you may have inheritance from your dad, it's not going to last forever. Then you might as well deal with it and live with me. You won't have to pay rent, nor do the housework. That's it, isn't it? You're completely right. I can't bear to be alone anymore. I did some calculations to see how I can save from using up dad's inheritance. In order to do that, I would have to work part-time. But in order to work to earn enough for my rent, I would have to cut down in going to classes at university. And of course, I wouldn't be able to take care of the house. Even the cooking, I've never done it before, so there's no way that I can make anything. I said to myself, I'm going to do it, and I gave it a try for a month, but I realized that it was impossible. Of course you wouldn't be able to, you only have to think about yourself all these years. I finally realized what you had done for me all this time. But instead, I had said such terrible things to you and kicked you out. I really feel bad for what I did to you, so please come back home. Sorry, I'm going to have to refuse. Huh? Why? How selfish are you going to get to say all those terrible things to me like that and then come back and say that you couldn't do it? I don't mean it like that, I regret for acting that way. You're just saying that you're not going to fool me. The only reason why you want me to come back is simply so that you can relax, isn't that so? No, it's nothing like that. I finally realized how much love you gave me all this time. Please, let's make up. I don't want to make up with you. We were never close anyway. You will never understand how painful it was to be neglected by you for close to 10 years. I'm sorry, I really am sorry. So please come back, mom. Mom, huh? I wanted to hear you say that from a long ago. Don't act like you're my daughter now. Oh, please forgive me. Anyway, the rent starts from this month, so do your best. Wait! I received messages from Layla many times after that. The details were always the same. It was so obvious that she only wanted to take the easy way out. And her words of apology were just all talk. That's why I found the guts to go to Eugene's little sister, Melanie, for some advice. I had been keeping in touch with her a lot ever since Eugene's passing. 
I told her about how Layla had kicked me out, so she didn't have a hard time understanding about this either. And it turns out that Melanie decided on taking care of Layla. Melanie has experience raising four kids of her own, so she is very reliable. Unlike me, it's true that they are related by blood. Melanie had promised me that she would put things in Layla's head, such as house chores, handling the money, among other things, and so on. And when she is capable of living on her own, I intend on giving her the house that we had shared with Eugene. Until then, I intend on taking responsibility of that house. It didn't matter how much Layla and I got along, I just want her to become happy.